Hello fellow horror fans here on YouTube. My name is Thorstein and today I have another obscurity from the 80s to talk about, this being a supernatural film from 1989 set in a high rise office building and it is called Dark Tower. And no, this has nothing to do with the recent big budget film called The Dark Tower or the Stephen King book that that one was based upon. In this Dark Tower we follow the investigator Dennis Randall, who are brought onto the scene of a mysterious death where an experienced window cleaner has suddenly fallen to the ground and died. While some of the local cops believe this has to be a suicide, Randall isn't all that convinced that there isn't something else going on, especially after he interviewed the architect of the building, Carolyn Page. She tells him that she is certain that someone or something threw the window washer into the air, more than suggesting that something evil and supernatural might be involved. This leads Randall down a path where he has to open his mind for the unknown, to figure it all out to avoid any more deaths occurring in this huge, dark tower. Dark Tower has a very simple story about a spirit coming back from the dead to disturb the living. There's not much unique about the plot and the initial interest I had in it started to wander away at the midway mark when I gave up on it giving me anything engaging. The script lacks a bit of an imagination and creativity, making it feel like you've already seen this done better before. The pacing is also slow, which doesn't exactly help the formulaic story either. The scares leaves a lot to be desired. There are so many creepy things you can do with ghosts and they fail here at giving us anything new and frightening. And the final climax they had to give us in this... Please... <laughs> Worst part of the film and not worth sitting through the first 80 minutes for. What saved Dark Tower from being a total waste for me was its cast, especially with Michael Moriarty in the lead as Dennis Randall. He gets the majority of the screen time, and although his character doesn't have all that much depth to him, Moriarty makes him work and is fun to watch on the screen. His co-star is Jenny Agutter, who plays Carolyn Page. I'm kind of indifferent to her performance in Dark Tower, and much more prefer her in other films like An American Werewolf in London and Child's Play 2. The movie also offers the paranormal investigator called Max Gold, played by Theodore Bickle. He's not bad, and I did like his scenes together with Moriarty, but they for some reason also gave him some cringeworthy scenes where he's walking around in this big building trying to communicate with the evil spirit. After you had to endure insults like me, and you call it a man like me, a quack, and a, and a charlatan, I'm a respectable scientist. I've, I've had over 30 years of research. There are also some bad dubbing done over some of the supporting cast that didn't help the film either. Dark Tower was shot during 1987 in Barcelona, on what can only be described as a troubled production. Midway through filming, legendary director Freddy Francis was replaced by Ken Wiederhorn, who himself was experienced in the genre after delivering stuff like Chuck Waves and Return of the Living Dead 2. Why this change happened is unknown to me, but I guess it does explain some of the inconsistencies that the movie has. They could also have included some more nice shots of Barcelona to give this movie much needed flair and style if they are first going to film there. Instead, most of the filming is done indoors, and the movie has as much appealing visuals as a made-for-TV movie. Dark Tower disappointed me. I might not have expected all that much from it in the first place, considering that this is a film still awaiting an official DVD or Blu-ray release, but considering the talent that is to be found in both the cast and crew, I would expect more entertainment than what I ended up with. This is a film that would only be of some interest for those of us who enjoy collecting VHS tapes of movies that have still not gotten an official release on a digital format. If you happen to find it for a few bucks, then I wouldn't scream at you for buying it, but honestly, Dark Tower is an uneventful and forgettable film. If you want ghosts or demons running amok in a big building, then check out Poltergeist 3 or Demons 2 instead. Oh, and believe it or not, this film was actually released under the title Demon 7 Inferno in Japan, which is perhaps the most noteworthy thing about this film except of Michael Moriarty. Dark Tower gets a low score of 2 out of 5. 
has anyone else in the world seen this film? If so, what did you think of it? And do you know of any other horror film that takes place in a large building that are worth checking out? Inform me and others about it in the comment section below. If you want a recommendation of a much more fun late 80s film, then check out my review of Frank Henlotter's awesome film Brain Damage. Leave a like, subscribe and all of that good stuff if you enjoyed this video. And until next time, thank you for watching Cinema Terror.